It's called the Magical Breakfast Cream, but actually it has no cream in it. It's a, it's a complete breakfast. It's made with yogurt, uh, lemon juice, honey, flax oil, non-sweet cereal, and a little bit of nuts, all mixed. And in that you have your carb, your protein, your fat, and if you eat that, I guarantee that you're gonna have amaz amazing energy. And then, you know, you have your two meals, normal, and um, you'll get addicted to it. Delicious to eat, very easy to make. Uh, in three minutes, you can make your breakfast. But then sit down and enjoy it and, you know, eat with pleasure. Statistically, it's shown that most people eat between six and eight minutes. That's too little time. You need 20 minutes for your brain to alert your stomach that you've had enough. When you eat in four, six, eight minutes, it's wasted calories. If on top of it, you eat prepared food or you know food that's heavy in salt or sugar or all kinds of chemicals and poison that we have, uh, you, you'll eat more because you're sort of eating mindlessly in a robotic way. And so you keep eating even if you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. So slowing down is very important. And that, you know, in our 21st century trap of fast, 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 is something that people have to learn. But, you know, it feels strange at the beginning, but after a while you realize that, that things taste differently, that you have a different experience of eating. You know, it's a difference between to eat to live or to live to eat, you know. And uh, if we are what we eat, we have to pay attention to what we eat and what, uh, how we eat. But I give them little templates of how to deal with that. I knew from living in New York that people were intimidated by um, cookbooks where you have to have you know, 15 ingredients, three hours, six pieces of equipment. And you know, the French woman, I'm not a chef. I'm not a, you know, I'm just a basic home cook. I'm one of you. And, you know, I worked long hours and I'd come home eight o'clock, you know, hungry, tired. I don't have three hours to make a meal. So you can basically make, make every recipe there in 30 minutes or less. And also because the French woman um, likes to have, you know, the greatest amount of pleasure for the least effort, we tend to make like two or three meals out of one. So we'll make you know, a chicken dish and leave the rest for two days later with a salad. Uh, we make a ratatouille and uh, two days later we serve the leftover as an accompaniment for a meat or fish dish. And so you know, the, next, the next day your dinner might take 10 minutes to prepare, okay. so it's great. Until recently, uh, Male, men, French men were chef in restaurants and women were not. You see very few women chef uh, for all the wrong reason. You know, we are not strong enough. I mean, the discrimination, all that. Whereas in Italy, you know, it's the mama. A lot of women are chef in restaurants. But um, the male French guy wouldn't cook. The woman was in charge. But I would say that's changing a lot. And young, young men today are very, very interested in cooking. And I, I love to see it. I have my you know, nephews and cousins who are in their 20s or 30s. And many of them cook better than their wives. So you know, maybe, maybe men will help women find their balance between work and life. Cooking is not only you know, cooking and eating at the table. It's a whole sort of package. It's, it's an act of love. It's about um, giving pleasure to, to the people you cook for. And, um, and then, you know, sitting and sharing. And while doing that and, and getting lots of pleasures from eating, you're also uh, connecting, uh, you know, not only with food, but with people and for family and for uh, couples, it's very important because today our time together is not not so good. You know, we, we don't focus, we're fast, we sort of uh, don't pay attention. Uh, and so sitting for a meal that you've cooked uh, to me is a great way to sort of go back to the basics and, and see, you know, a few things that are important in life. So if I can accomplish that and get a few people um, to cook, I would be very happy.